Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the support. Before we get started, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's get it. Now, this video is titled, What is a High Value Man? And does it even matter? So let's go back. I've been seeing a lot of uh, posts, titles, uh, videos, and a lot of propaganda being pushed on the internet about this high value man and about what is a high value man and what it takes to become a high value man. When I first heard the term, you know, it kind of it kind of threw me off. So I listened to a few videos. Uh, you know who the the culprits are, the people are, the YouTubers are that push this narrative and this phrase. Um, and so I listened, and I studied these guys for a while. I was like, wow, there's a there's a commonality between all these guys and what it is when you check out these guys history their stories their backgrounds these guys man they were uh the geeks uh the the dorks the weird weird kids um uh, they didn't get the, the girls they wanted. They didn't get to be in the crowds they wanted to be in. These are not athletes or some of them just uh, awkward and just didn't know themselves or didn't fit in, couldn't accept themselves, uh, didn't feel good about themselves. You know, do your research on these guys, man. You, you'll see that this is, the, this is the common thing between all of them. And what I've come to notice is at some point in their lives, they switched it up or attempted to switch up uh, the direction of their life, and they attempted to change their outer appearance and even their mentality. And so that's a good thing, right? If that makes you happy, that's a good thing. If it's righteous, it's a great thing. But what they're doing is they're trying to shun other men by making them feel less than if they don't fit this profile of a high value man. Um, and I'm noticing a lot of what they say take, it takes to be a high value man has to do with money. And it has to do with uh, appearance, what, what they say is appropriate appearance or that qualifies you to be a high value man. And I just don't subscribe to that uh, philosophy. Uh, I don't agree. And, uh, you know, this may shock you guys that I don't agree with them because uh, I'm a clean cut guy. Uh, take care of my hygiene, take care of my, you know, my nails, toes, hands, my, my teeth. Uh, my face, I, I get facials. So I, I, I spend time, I won't say a lot of money, but I put time into uh, my health, how I look on the outside and the inside. So how I feel. Uh, so it may shock you that I, I don't subscribe to these guys' philosophy and what they're pushing. And the reason I don't is because I don't think it's rooted in righteousness. I think is rooted in bitterness and low self-esteem. Uh, these guys feel like they're the in crowd now. They didn't fit in those crowds back in school, you know, grammar school, high school, probably even college. They didn't fit in those crowds. They weren't accepted. They were not accepted in those crowds, but now they're the in crowd. And this is what it takes to get into their circle. Man, I, I don't want to be in their circle, and you shouldn't either, because uh, 
these guys cannot say what's high value um, and what's not high value. So I know guys, if we want to talk about money, I know guys that uh, have oil-stained hands, have calluses on their hands, man, rough hands, uh, rarely uh, have clothes without stains on them. You know, either they're working in a plant or they're mechanics, man. But a lot of these guys have side hustles and they got bukus of money coming in, though. But uh, looking at these guys, well, these guys, these YouTubers, uh, would not classify these guys I'm talking about as high value men. Right? But these same men I'm talking about got these bukus of dollars coming in. Hey, man, when they decide to step out, get dressed up, they can do that, too. But their day-to-day -day doesn't require from them to dress pristine. Doesn't require them to uh, wear loafers or nice slacks or button-downs. It doesn't require that. Their day-to-day -day grind, the way they make their money, is blue-collar. And like I said, a lot of these guys are entrepreneurs. But according to these... These YouTubers, the certain these certain YouTubers, these are not high value men from from the eye, right? Then you got you guys. I know that uh, hey, they they uh, they may not fit the mold of uh, driving a certain car. It may not be their thing, you know. Uh, they might not speak the king's English, you know. Uh, are they not high value? See, the focus is too much on materialistic things. The focus is too much on the outer appearance. And it's not enough focus on character, a spirit. No, right and wrong, intent, righteousness. And so I can't subscribe to what these guys are selling. And uh, I can't look down on my brothers who uh, don't look like me, don't dress like me, uh, don't necessarily think like me. But these are righteous brothers. So I can't look down on them. I am them, they are me. We're one within this universe, just different perspectives on life. So uh, I think this high value man thing is dying down. I think it's getting old. Uh, it's about run, run out of time. People are getting tired of it. And uh, like I said, man, just check out these guys. There's a, a recurring theme, a commonality between these guys and uh, a lot of these guys look weird, man, to me, and uh, and you know, I, you know, I don't like judging, or putting people in a box, man. But something ain't right with these guys, and uh, it's just like, wow, you know, these these guys are something else, man. But uh, I get it, I get it. This is their payback because they were shunned uh, earlier in life, and uh, they felt like, you know, they felt out of place, but now. Due to the internet, social media, they have a platform and they get to create a new narrative and create their own circles and tell you, tell us what they deem as cool or uncool. And so I get it, but it's not rooted in the right thing. So you'll notice in the coming months that this thing is going to die out about this high value uh, narrative and propaganda is going to die out because it's not rooted in righteousness these guys come from a place of hurt and bitterness and uh yeah that, that's just what i wanted to my take on it hey to the men out there listen man don't let these guys get you down don't let these guys shake your confidence and what's what's crazy about it a lot of a lot of women would jump on this bandwagon with these type of type of guys because it's their ha-ha, it's their ammunition to come at men. 
and they'll tell you, hey, you're not a high value man. Don't listen to that. Man, if you're taking care of your business, right? You got high value thoughts, a high value spirit, righteous. That's all that matters, man. Moving righteousness, that's all that matters. Forget the other stuff. All right? From me to you, love. Peace.